Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly and effectively modify your PS3 camera with a flat lens by removing the purple IR filter. This simple modification will enhance the camera's ability to detect infrared light, making it perfect for IR tracking applications. Flat lens, PlayStation 3 cameras are known for not being modifiable. Although we are going to present you how to modify it successfully without much of an effort. This is worldwide first tutorial on how to modify PS3 camera with a flat lens. You can see here, the unmodified lens on the left has a purple tint, while the modified one on the right is clear. Before we dive into the tutorial, Let's take a quick look at the two different versions of the PS3 camera. Here's the flat lens version, which we'll be modifying today. And for comparison, here's the convex lens version. This guide specifically covers the flat lens model. So if you have a convex lens, stay tuned. We'll have a separate guide for that soon. For this modification, you'll need just a few basic tools. A sharp knife, sandpaper in three grit levels, 1500, 2000, and 2500, protective gloves, scissors, VHS tape or floppy disk, and of course, your PS3 camera with a flat lens. Before we start, make sure your workspace is clean, well lit, and you have all your tools within easy reach. Step one, let's start by removing the lens from the camera. First, carefully insert the edge of your knife under the lens ring. Gently lift the ring and remove it from the camera body. Once the ring is off, you can start extracting the lens itself. Be cautious here. Begin by lightly tapping the lens housing to loosen it. Gradually let the lens slide out. Carefully use your knife to lift it from the side and remove it completely. Avoid applying too much pressure to prevent any damage. Step 2. With the lens removed, we're ready for the main task, removing the purple IR filter. We'll start with 1500 grit sandpaper. Using gentle, circular motions, sand the lens surface with consistent pressure. After a while, check the surface of the lens. In our case, we can see that the filter is no longer in the center of the lens, but is still visible at the edges. Be sure to use light pressure and regularly check the lens to avoid over sanding. Next, switch to 2000 grit sandpaper for further refinement, continuing the circular motions. This step will make the surface clearer. Finally, Move to 2,500 grit sandpaper for a smooth, clear finish. If you notice any deep scratches or uneven spots, stop and reassess your technique. Remember, patience is key in this process. Step 3. Once you've finished sanding, it's time to reassemble the lens. Press down inside the lens and make sure there is no dust on the elements.
Gently press the lens into place with your finger, making sure to position it well. Ensure all glue residue is cleaned off the ring. Remember that the notch on the ring should face downwards. Give it a final press with a pen or tool of similar size. Double check that everything is seated evenly. All right, we're almost done. Now, for the final touch, you'll need a piece of film. I used an old floppy disk for this, but a VHS tape works just as well. Let me show you how to do it. First, carefully open up the floppy disk to access the film inside. Cut out a small piece that will fit perfectly into the lens. Once you have it, place it carefully over the lens as shown. And there you have it. A simple DIY solution to complete your modified PS3 camera. Here you can see a comparison of how the camera works before and after the modification. The unmodified camera struggles with IR tracking, but once modified, it picks up infrared light perfectly. Thanks for watching. I hope this guide helped you successfully modify your PS3 camera. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to drop a comment below. We'll be happy to help.